Hello class, in today's video we will be going over the four main groups of plants. Every land plant comes from one of these groups. Group 1 is called bryophytes. Bryophytes are considered the simplest of the four groups, because they lack a full vascular system, true roots, and true leaves. These include mosses and other small plants that grow in wet areas and use spores to reproduce. Group 2 is called pteridophytes. Pteridophytes, like ferns, are plants that also use spores to reproduce, however they have evolved a vascular system and so are considered to be more sophisticated than bryophytes. These were the earliest trees on earth as soon as plants gained vascular systems, they were able to grow quite tall as fern trees. They do not have a taproot but have roots that adventitiously sprout from the stem. Group 3 is called gymnosperms. Gymnosperms include plants like conifers and pines. These plants use seeds to reproduce instead of spores, which is an improvement upon the pteridophyte model because seeds are much more durable than spores. This means the genetic information is safer and more likely to be successful. The last group or group 4 is called angiosperms. Angiosperms are the most sophisticated plants on earth and include all flowering plants. Once flowers evolved, probably about 130 million years ago from a gymnosperm lineage, plants were never the same again. Flowers allowed for a variety of advantages that created an explosion of different variations that were able to outcompete most of the existing plants and have evolved into all the flowering plants we see today. If you enjoyed today's video about the four main plant groups, please consider hitting the like button and leave a comment about what you learned today. This video was brought to you by me, Great Grow. If you want to see more awesome plant facts, hit the subscribe button for more awesome videos. Thanks for watching.